Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Atsimba, but you can call me Addy. I'm a full-time macrame artist and small business owner. This channel basically focuses on sharing a lot of macrame tutorials as well as the behind the scenes as to what goes on in my small business. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss any videos. Today's video is gonna be another tutorial video and this is the project that we will be learning today. It's like a really awesome beginner-friendly but slightly intermediate macrame wall hanging and I'm super happy with it. I think it's the perfect addition to your little boho space. So this wall hanging is super perfect for beginners because it's very repetitive but it still brings out like a really intricate and detailed design. I'm really excited to share this project with you guys. Again, if you recreate this on Instagram, please make sure to tag me. I'm at C by the C shop and I would love to see your work. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into the materials that you're going to need. For this project, you are going to need 320 feet of cord. So I am using the sage cord that you can find on my website at cbythecshop.com. And then I'm also using an 18 inch wooden dowel that I will link down below. And you're also gonna need, as always, a pair of scissors and a ruler, and that's pretty much it. Now let's just jump right into the project. To begin this project, you're gonna go ahead and cut 10 strands at eight feet each. You're gonna attach them to the wooden dowel or driftwood piece that you decided to use with the reverse lark's head knot. Now I'm just making sure that they're all evenly spaced. For the first row of our project, we're gonna grab four strands and make two square knots right on top of each other. So when you're making a square knot, you just wanna think about creating a four and then a backwards four. So here are two square knots and then we're gonna repeat that same pattern four more times. For the next row, we're going to skip the two strands on the end and then do the same thing, two square knots on top of each other. For this row, we're only going to do this four times, meaning we're leaving the two strands at the end out as well. For the third row, we're going to go back to the same thing using all of the strands starting with the ones on the end. And here we will create the same pattern five times. And as you guessed it, for the next row we will skip the two strands at the end and then create four of the square knots right on top of each other. We're going to end this with one more row and that's again using all of the strands starting with the ones on the end and we will create five of the square knots right on top of each other. Now we're going to go ahead and cut four strands at seven feet each. Instead of folding these right in half like we usually do, we're going to leave two and a half feet for the end. The shorter side will be on the inside. So we're going to do this with another 7 foot cord as well and again the short side will be on the inside. So as you can see here I have the two longer strands at the end and the two shorter strands in the middle. We are going to create a spiral knot here, and this is very similar to a square knot, but instead of switching between a 4 and a backwards 4, we are only going to go one way. So as you can see, it's going to start spiraling pretty soon, so I'm going to make 40 of these spiral knots. do the same thing on the other side. So instead of folding it right in the center, we're gonna leave one side that is two and a half feet long, and that side is gonna be in the middle.
and then we're doing this again with another strand so again fold it at two and a half feet and make sure that that short side is in the center now for this one i am going the opposite direction so the spirals will kind of twist towards each other Again, I am not going a four and a backwards four like with a square knot, I am doing it in the same direction, just in the opposite way that I did the other one. So again, we're gonna do this 40 times. So now we're gonna flip our wall hanging to the back. We are gonna grab the two arms that we created with the spiral knots and now just tie them together with the gathering knot. So we're going to grab a two foot strand and create a loop with your fingers. Make sure to leave a little end on top of about two inches. Now we're going to start wrapping around and we're going to want to do this pretty tightly but not too tight that you can't pull cord through it. And you want to make sure that you left a little loop at the end because we're going to pull the strand through and I just like to tug and make sure that everything's really tight. And before I pull any further, I just like to snip it off so it's easier for the cord to hide away. And you just wanna make sure that you don't pull all the way up or else the knot will come undone. So once it is secured into place and the knot is right in the center, you can go ahead and snip off the top end as well so it's nice and clean. Now we're gonna flip our wall hanging back over to the front and we're gonna bring these spiral knots to the front. So just to clean it up, I like to gently pull at the ends below the gathering knot. Now we're gonna work on the outer arms. So for this, we are gonna cut four strands at 10 feet each. We're going to attach them to the end of the wooden dowel with a reverse lark's head knot. So this part is gonna become very repetitive as well. We are gonna create two square knots for the first row and then use the two middle strands of each square knot to create one more square knot in the center. So now we're just gonna repeat this over and over again. So we are gonna create 22 rows, meaning that the final row is going to end with one single square knot in the center. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Again, it's gonna be 22 rows and we're gonna finish off with one square knot in the center. So now we are gonna bring them together and attach them in the middle. So now you're gonna to wanna to grab the two strands of the square knots on each side. You're gonna to wanna to grab the ones that are more towards the center. And this part might be a little bit tricky, but you're gonna kind of just have to pull the arms together gently enough and close enough to make one square knot here. So now from this square knot that you just created, I am using two strands from the left-hand side and two strands right next to them to create one more square knot and then I'm gonna pick up the next four strands and create another square knot in this row. And now after this, I'm gonna create one more square knot right in the middle. So now is the really fun and easy part. We are gonna start adding fringe. So you're gonna need to cut 21 strands of cord at three feet each. We're gonna attach the fringe into each of these gaps at the end. So to do this, we are gonna fold them right in half and attach with a reverse lark's head knot like we did up top. So we are gonna do this all the way up to the top. And now I like to use a bobby pin because the very end can be kind of tricky and really close to the wooden dowel. 
So basically I'll just place my cord in the middle of my bobby pin and then I will just slide it through that gap just enough so I can pull it through. You can also use a tapestry needle or a crochet hook if that seems easier to you. So again, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And again, you can see that I'm using my bobby pin to pull through the very end. So that is pretty much the end of this project. Now we're just going to attach a cord so we can hang up the wall hanging. If you've seen any of my other tutorials and you already know how to do this, I do this the same way every time. So I am using a three foot strand to attach with a lark's head knot and then secure it into place with a double half hitch knot. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And then as you already know, if you watch my other tutorials, we're gonna grab a crochet hook just so we can tuck away the ends. Now we can cut the ends off as well. So now I just like to end this with cutting my wall hanging into a diagonal V and the way that I like to do this is just placing it up hanging on the wall and then I'll find the center and just start cutting in a V shaped diagonal line. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I just really cleaned this up and took my time on this part even though I sped it up in the video but that is it for this wall hanging. Alright guys, so that is it for this macrame wall hanging. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this project and don't forget that I will link everything down below. You can always find rope and cord on my website at seabytheseashop.com and if you recreate this, please please feel free to share and tag me on Instagram. I am at seabytheseashop and I would love to see your work. Also feel free to comment down below what you thought about this project and if you have any future project ideas. Again, I am planning on having a tutorial up every single Tuesday so I would love to help you out with any future project ideas. So again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed making this with me. Please subscribe for future projects and I will see you in the next one.